Hey guys, are you ready for another Rainbow Playmaker slime tutorial video? Because that's what this is. I'm going to show you how to make this amazing, fluffy, inflatable butter slime. It's super easy to make, only takes a few ingredients, and you guys are going to love it. If you are new here, I'm Marjorie. I'm Rainbow Playmaker. Welcome to my channel. Consider hitting that like button if you found this video to be helpful, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's just jump right into the video and get started. All right, the first thing you are going to need is some Elmer School Glue, white and clear. So I'm adding that to my bowl. I like combining both glues to make the slime, but if you only have one or the other, you can use that and it will turn out just fine. Add a few pumps of lotion, add a few pumps of foam soap, and then you just want to either mix it up or add your coloring. You could use food dye, paint, whatever kind of coloring you like. Mix that all up and get ready for the activation. So once it's all mixed up, you're gonna start activating. I'm using one teaspoon of borax dissolved in one cup of water. It's kind of my preferred method of activation for most of my slimes. So you want your slime to be not so sticky. This is kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna add any more activator at this point. I'm just gonna work it with my hands and it should eventually come together. A lot of people make the mistake of adding more activator at this stage and you end up with a super stiff slime and that's not what you want. Now you can tell that this slime is not super, super stretchy, but it's stretchy enough because once we add it to the clay, it will become stretchier. I like using the Kawaii Slime Company clay for my sizzly, fluffy, inflatable butter slimes. Her clay is kind of like a slime already by itself. You can see how nice it stretches. And really, if you wanted to turn it into a slime, you can just add very little clear slime or very little white slime and it will it would be amazing, um, but I'm going to add a bunch of slime to it. So I put my slime on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put this clay on top and then press it in. So you can kind of hear a little sizzle already at this point. It's going to be amazing when it's finished. If you find that your slime is stiffer than you would like it to be and not as relaxed as you'd like it to be, you could let it sit overnight or even for two days and it should soften up. If you don't want to wait, there are things that you can add to your slime to make it more stretchy. And that would be something like glycerin, you could try baby oil, or you could just add lotion. I'm pretty happy with the texture and how the slime turned out. You will notice after you let it sit overnight that once you fluff it up and press down on it, the sizzles will be even more amazing than they are the first day. So let me know in the comments if you tried this recipe, how you liked it, what are your favorite types of slimes, and if you'd like to see more tutorials, tutorials, if you'd like to see more tutorials on my channel, let me know which ones down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I know that on YouTube, you have so many choices of slime videos to go watch. So I truly, truly appreciate and love that you guys have spent the time with me here today. I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, night, wherever you are, whatever time it is. I hope you enjoy whatever it is you're doing now. See you in my next video. Bye.